to start with the good news, if we can look at the good news in Lompoc, the good news is four days a week right now you have um, outreach going out uh, around the riverbeds. You have different outreach teams. Uh, Chuck mentioned it, so it's uh, Lomp the local Lompoc PD, Sheriff's Office, AmeriCorps, Home for Good. Chuck's going out. Um, Brian Halter and Good Sam is really involved. Planning the Seeds really involved. So you have this first step, which is called developing relationship and friendships, trust building, in order to build the relationships. So first thing is people have to trust if they're going to re-engage in all these services, they have to trust what they're getting connected to. Because a lot of people in the riverbed are out there for a reason. Um, and the the talented, artful, outreach people are going to find that out and they're going to going to begin to bridge those relationships to try to, to develop trust so that they will go to Coast Valley, so that they will go to shelter. So the good news that's happening right now is the pre-outreach piece, which I think they've all mentioned, which is key to the whole thing. We're not waiting for whatever the intervention is to try to begin to build these relationships now in order to help people choose these services and leave the riverbed. The goal is that for, we're client-based, so the goal is that people themselves will choose a healthier alternative, and that's really what Outreach is doing. The other good news is the city, the county, all the providers, we, um, the, sh the Sheriff's Department, Law PD, everyone agrees that the riverbed is not a place meant for human habitation. That's our mantra. We don't believe it's a place where people on the streets should be at all. We don't believe it's good for them. We don't believe it's good for the community. So we're all mobilizing together in order to bring about a solution. A friend of mine that I've been talking to every week actually has been running the Orange County, the Orange County plan. So he's filling me in on the mistakes that were made as far as the things they did that they would undo. So I'm getting some inside information on how to make sure we don't do some of those same mistakes here. Thus the idea of the Outdoor Treehouse Center. We all agree that the outdoor triage center that the city and county are currently discussing about where that will be, when that will be, is the key to the whole thing. So that people can leave their riverbed, come into a safe place of their own, surrounded by all the county and city service providers that we need, so they can make the next step. That could be reunification, that could be getting into the shelter, that could be going to the rescue mission, one year program, that could be going to Teen Challenge. There could be all kinds of options that are laid out, but we need a certain amount of time because we can't get them to housing directly right away so that we can move people forward based on what they want. Because I, I don't know about you, but generally people do what they want. We all make decisions. We're going to do what we want. No one's going to arm wrestle me, for the most part, to decide my future based on their plan. So we need to really be listening to people, what they want, what they need, and get them that next step, not what I'm thinking.